now let's move on to the last uh, variation of this uh, boolean modifier method which is by going into file import we'll import a scalar vector graphic scalable vector graphic sorry and the way that vector and raster works you should see a image on your screen now so vector which is what you can see on the left is basically made up of mathematical equations the way it works is even if you zoom in you will never lose quality whereas raster on the right side is made up of pixels and when you zoom in you do see the pixels and it's rough and it it does lose quality when you zoom in basically vector file formats include svg and eps whereas uh, raster file formats include png and jpeg so for png and jpeg you can use the texture method which we did first here but if you have a svg of the logo and you want it even in even better quality because here it will also be a mesh let us use the svg method so the way that works is you go to file import svg and you go to uh, whatever svg you have you can import it into blender directly if you can't find that it should be in the add-ons menu here just search svg and it should be right there and it will then show up in the under import if you couldn't find it already let's now take these uh curves that have just been imported curves are similar to text in the sense that they're not exactly made up of a mesh you can zoom in as much as you want and they won't lose quality just like a svg actually does work but we need to convert this into a mesh of course to uh add it here so here i have my logo and let us now rotate this for 90 degrees then rotate it again oops i can't see 90 degrees there we go let's set the origin to geometry so we can scale it just like that and we will now add this back here this is the third variation of this method you can also import in a svg of like a curve or a, a line on the aircraft which is what i did with my cargo lux in fact i think i can show you a demo right now here we have the svg let's just omit, open it with the uh, edge for now you can see it's just a svg of this part which i drew in illustrator which you can then import into blender and do what i'm about to do right now same boolean modifier method basically uh, you take these curves convert them to mesh and extrude this onto the other side no that won't work since it is flipped let's actually just join all of these three for now by uh, doing control j or doing uh selecting all of them and right clicking and then clicking join oops not x oops not zero my bad one actually it doesn't matter here since it is uh it doesn't have any depth in the x-axis go back to x-ray mode and align this correctly perfect and now let us extrude this from each side now earlier when i tried to apply the modifier to this you would see that the the d just disappeared which is weird because when I apply this, let's say the faces are just gone. It's just not there. Whereas this, uh, this side came out perfectly fine. And why is that? Well, I don't exactly know, but I know that something that fixes uh, random issues like this is generally applying all transforms. And the way that works is, let's say we have a cube. And let's say you did something to the cube you rotated it you moved it you scaled it scaled it on the z axis a little bit let's say scaled it on the x axis a little bit random stuff and if you can see here all of these numbers are now all random by clicking ctrl a and ap applying all transforms or let's just do location for example for now you're basically turning this all to zero basically saying in some sense that this is now the original state and you have moved the origin to the world origin 
and let's do rotation and that makes it zero and then scale that makes it one 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 and instead of doing individually like that if you just click all transforms that fixes this issue that we were having right here so if i apply all transforms you'll see the origin has gone to the origin uh, the world origin sorry and now if i select fuselage you can see that the d is back let us now delete the faces on the inside now let's move this out by 0 0.0102 sorry and this as well and let's make sure this has the same material so click on this little drop down if you've already created the livery decals material and just select livery decals just like that and let's UV edit this as well again since the shape of this object is already in the shape that you want it to be in as in like here we don't have a shape we just have a plane and therefore we need to write Adi template here whereas here we have a shape similar to this one you just want to UV map it completely randomly it does not matter whatsoever you just want to put it over one color so it has some color just like that yeah as you can see these are the three variations of this method 